Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. Thanksgiving, still moving along. I told y'all I'd be back, y'all, to show y'all some mac and cheese. Old school mac and cheese, really, really simple. If you've done my old school cheese sauce in the beginning. Now, if you're getting this video later on after Thanksgiving, I'm going to leave a link at the end of this video. It'll pop up right at the end of the video, a link to the old school cheese sauce. Because you're going to need it for this video. Because I'm not going to make the cheese sauce again in this video. Because I made it already in the previous video. So, yeah. All we're going to do, y'all, we're going to add the cheese sauce, which I got over here. I got my pot heating up there for my mac and cheese. For my macaroni. And I got my cheese sauce. Right there in the back, back there. I already made, I already heated up. I didn't want to do two cheese sauce videos, so I'm gonna kind of do it in parts here to get y'all together. Now, I guarantee you, people make this all the time now. This is the best mac and cheese you're ever gonna eat. I'm not saying that because I made it. I'm saying it because it's true. The mac, the cheese sauce is nice and smooth. Macaroni and cheese is not gonna be grainy. It's not gonna be dry. And you can make this the day before, put everything in the pan. All you do, I'm gonna explain later how you warm it up in, in the video. It'd be just like you made it right then. So anyway, I got a pound of mac and cheese, macaroni here. I got a little grated cheese I'm gonna put inside and on top. That's why I got some, and when I do that, I need, I do fresh grated cheese. I don't use the cheese with the wax on it. It's already pre, it doesn't melt the same. It don't have the same melting point. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna step off. I got my water heating up here. I got salted water here. And all I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna uh, get my macaroni cooking off here. Like I can do that right now. Let me cut this open here. Pour that in there and get that going. And this is good salted water, y'all. Make sure your water is good and salty when you cook your macaroni so you can have a good flavorful noodle and we're gonna come back and put this mac and cheese together, y'all. It's gonna be so easy and so simple. Old school mac and cheese. Thanksgiving. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Mac and cheese is here ready. Look at that. Nice and ready. The noodles are ready. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drain them off here. Put them in the bowl. Let me move y'all over to the bowl here. To the process over here, y'all. As I drain off these, I drain off the pasta here. Or noodles, however you say it. Like I say, y'all, make sure when you drain them, drain all the water off of them. Put them right in that bowl there. Pour the rest of this water out of there. Okay, all right, we're gonna start building it. Now, let me get my, put this here, we're gonna put my bowl right here. Put my thing here, we're gonna put that hot, the cheese sauce is hot. The cheese sauce right there. Like I told y'all, the cheese sauce recipe, if you've been following me all week, you already know the cheese sauce video. If you've been following along, the past few days of the Thanksgiving, uh, this Thanksgiving uh, week, of Thanksgiving, what they call it, segments. So I'm gonna put a little cheese inside here, y'all, just a little. Trying to get a little cheese melting inside. And then we're gonna put our cheese sauce right inside here. We're gonna put a lot of cheese sauce, y'all, because you definitely don't want it dry. Who wants dry mac and cheese, right? Nobody wants that. Let me get my dustle spoon. We're going heavy duty here on the spoon today. We're gonna mix that up in there. That nice and like I say, that pasta is going to soak up a lot of that sauce. So you want to make sure you got a lot of cheese sauce in that mac and cheese. I know y'all have eaten, some of y'all people 
relatives, neighbors come over with that dry mac and cheese. It's nothing worse. People just don't know. It's nothing worse than a macaroni and cheese that's dry and crumbly. It shouldn't be like that at all. I'm going to put a little bit more sauce because, as you know, as you go in the oven and cook here, it's going to dry it a little. That's why you want to make sure you get a nice, soft, wet mac and cheese, y'all. Okay. That's what we want right there. Now, we got our casserole dish here. All we're going to do, move that over there, and we're going to pour this right in the casserole dish, y'all. We're going to put some cheese on here. We're going to bake this bad boy off about 25, 30 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. Got to have that baked, nice, bubbly cheese on there, right? Okay. Put our cheese on here. There we go. Easy as this, y'all. How easy is this, right? So we're gonna put this in the oven 350 degrees by 25, 30 minutes until it's nice and bubbly and got a nice little color on that cheese. And we'll be back. And we're going to try the best mac and cheese you ever tasted. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Look at that there. Look at that nice, bubbly, hot, fresh out the oven mac and cheese. Got a nice little color on the, on the top there. Of course, y'all know I can't eat it right now. I'm going to let it cool off. But that's what you want. Thanksgiving morning. Not Thanksgiving morning, but Thanksgiving afternoon. Whatever you eat. We used to eat at 12 o'clock on Thanksgiving growing up. Some people eat five, six o'clock. Some people eat at seven o'clock. Whatever you eat, this is what you want to feed your family. This is real mac and cheese, y'all, old school style. Like I say, go back to a previous video. I'll put the video in the link. If you've been watching me all week, you already know the cheese sauce. And y'all, you do cook the noodles, mix it with the cheese sauce, put your cheese on top, put it in the oven, buy a while bubbling. So we're gonna let it, uh, we're gonna come back here I just sit a little. We'll be back here in a few minutes to uh, taste this and show y'all how creamy and delicious it is. Old school mac and cheese, Thanksgiving style. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We are back here. Final episode. Look at this here, y'all. See how creamy that mac and cheese is. Take a good look. It's creamy. There's no graininess to it. It's not dry. That's what you want, y'all, in your mac and cheese. I'm telling you. I know if y'all be eating mac and cheese that's dry, you taste it, it's got a little graininess to it, like the, the sauce is split or separated. That's why I say use my cheese sauce, my old school cheese sauce. I guarantee you're going to have mac and cheese looking like this on your table. Look at it. Get a closer look. See how, look at it. That's how mac and cheese is supposed to look, y'all. Not, not all grainy and all that. So enough being said. Let's go in here. Let me give y'all a good taste. Get a little top of that cheese there. Give y'all a good bite here. Get myself a good bite. All right, y'all want to see it here. Hold on, y'all. Let me, let me, here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that. Take a bite. Going in. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Wow. I'm telling y'all. It's the real deal right here. It's the real deal mac and cheese. Look at that. You hear that? Nice and creamy. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. You can eat this by itself. Meal in itself with my mac and cheese. Everybody just went by my recipe the past few years. They emailed me back, sent me messages, and even called me and let me know. It's their recipe from now on. Just keep a secret where you got it from, y'all. Don't tell nobody. Look at this here, y'all. Final bite. I'm going to close this video out. Look at that. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That's it. I ain't gonna be.
better than that, right? <laughs> there ain't no better than that. Now, let me call this video out, y'all. I'm going to finish this whole plate. I'm telling you now. Finish this whole plate. So, anyway, let me close this video out. If you like the video, please share, please comment, please subscribe, please follow my other social media account, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023, just show some kindness. Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy, blessed Thanksgiving. Love y'all. Bye. Hold on, y'all. One more thing I forgot to tell y'all. I was going to tell you before, when I finish, if you heat this up, let me show you the stages. You can go all the way with this mac and cheese. You can freeze and everything. All of it, do the whole process besides baking it. You can put the cheese on there, everything. Just, uh, mix it together, put it in your pan or your dish. Put your cheese on there. If you're going to freeze it, freeze it just like that. Thanksgiving, the day before Thanksgiving, preferably, you want to cook it unfrozen. Thaw it out. And just take it out. Put a little milk on top of it. And put a little milk on top because the cheese is going to be done soaked up a lot and bake it. Same way if you do it the day before and don't want to bake it off the night of, just take it, put in the whole process like I did it, but right before I baked it. And when you next morning, just put a little milk on top. That milk going to soak all in there and bring it back together. Because as this sets up, as you know, common sense, that cheese sauce is going to soak into the pasta, going to just keep drawing that pasta. And why you see how much soupy it was when I pulled it into the casserole dish and see how it's not soupy anymore. That's the key. That's what people make a mistake. They put in their casserole dish when it's firm. And after they bake it out the next day, the, ca the macaroni come out dry. That's why. You got to put a lot of sauce in that because all that sauce is going to soak up during the cooking process. That's the mistake people make. So anyway, I wanted what well, I forgot, y'all. Anyway, love y'all. Bye.